It is simply wrong to say we are not making progress. There is a lot to do in the coming days, but things are moving. And a major reason for that is that everyone can see that this government is utterly determined to leave the EU on October the 31st, come what may, without a deal if necessary. We are ne negotiating a deal. And though I am confident, and though I am confident, and though I am confident of getting a deal, we will leave by October the 31st in all circumstances. There will be no further pointless delay. And of course, I think one of the most remarkable things that took place during the statement was to see the member for Bracknell cross the floor. Prime Minister, you have lost your majority. Yeah. By proroguing Parliament, the Prime Minister is robbing the people of power, robbing them over a say over their future. In true Trumpian style, the Prime Minister is acting more like a tin pot dictator than a Democrat. Yeah. The Prime Minister has lost his majority, with the Honourable Member for Bracknell joining the Liberal Democrats. Yeah. Doctors like him tell me they want to stop Brexit because it will plunge our NHS into deep crisis, hemorrhaging vital staff and threatening access to life-saving medicines. When will the Prime Minister stop playing with people's lives yeah. and stop Brexit? Yeah. Well, I, Mr Speaker, the, the sad truth is there are many members in this House, and I'm afraid including uh, the Right Honourable Gentleman opposite, who simply want to block Brexit. Yeah. And that's, that's the truth. And they're using that is the reality, and that is the reality. And they are using the discussion of a no, so-called No Deal Brexit to conceal their real intentions. And by, and by their measures tonight and tomorrow, they would be fatally undermining this government's ability to negotiate a deal. Uh, the, the Prime Minister's extraordinary knockabout performance today merely confirms, it seems to me, his obvious strategy, which is to set conditions which make no deal inevitable, uh, to make sure that as much blame as possible is attached to the EU and to this House for that consequence, and then as quickly as he can fight a flag-waving general election uh, before the consequences of no deal become too obvious to the public.